Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're keeping well. Today, something nice, short and sweet, and it's something that I've been wanting to do for a while. We're gonna be looking at the Ryzen 5600 and seeing how it stacks up against its competition in the market on price to spec. Comparing the 5600X, the 5600 and the 5600G, all three have six cores, all three have 12 threads. Base clock, not too important because this just goes to the efficiency of the TDPs. However, boost clock is important because the higher the frequency, the better the gaming experience, especially if you're looking at this for a gaming purchase. The boost clock on the 5600X is 4.6 gigahertz, the 5600 is 4.4, and the 5600G is 4.4 as well. On the L2 cache, all coming in at three megabytes, and on the L3 cache, something important because this does affect gaming performance, on the 5600X, it is 32 megabytes, on the 5600, it is 32 megabytes, and on the 5600G, it is 16 megabytes. Now to note, if it has integrated graphics, the 5600X and the 5600 do not. However, the 5600G does have integrated graphics. Now to compare the actual performance of the three CPUs, I took a couple of comparatives, first being the average bench. Now the 5600X coming in at 96%, the 5600 coming in at 93 and the 5600G coming in at 88%. Now the Cinebench R23 single core performance, obviously the 5600X is gonna lead there with the higher frequency on boost clock with 1593, the 5600 coming in at 1504 and the 5600G coming in at 1504. On multi-core performance, the 5600G hitting 10,988, higher on the 5600X with 11,077 and matched by the 5600 on 11,077 as well. Finally, on price, the 5600X is always going to be more expensive than the 5600 and the 5600G. Therefore, we're gonna put that at 100%. Now the 5600 comes in generally at 18% cheaper and the 5600G becomes 26% cheaper again against the 5600X. Now if you put all these factors into a wash, we can obviously note that the 5600X is going to give you better gaming performance. However, for 18% cheaper, you are losing about 3-4% to of performance on games. So comparatively, the 5600X makes a lot more sense as you're not going to be sacrificing an iGPU because neither one has. However, if you're looking at this from a pure just work perspective, the 5600G makes the most sense because it does have a higher multi-core performance and you get a integrated GPU. So to conclude, if you're looking at the 5600X, the 5600 and the 5600G, and you are on a tight budget and it's for gaming purposes, the 5600 is definitely a great option. And if you're looking just for workflow performance, the 5600G also a great option to the 5600X. More tips and tricks to come, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Cheers and goodbye.